Welcome to sunny, spectacular Bradenton, Florida. Oh, wait. No, for real this time. Welcome to sunny, spectacular Bradenton, Florida. I mean it. Wednesday is reporting day for pitchers and catchers, but Thursday is when the players go from the locker room out through the door to the big field, the complex of four fields that makes up the bulk of Pirate City, as well as the smaller field and another smaller field that's a half infield where Pedro Alvarez probably will be learning first base, to the batting cages, out to the new huge weight room that the Pirates have just built. One player looks like he spent the entire offseason in the weight room. Polanco, Pittsburgh Pirates. You're bigger, man. Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? You know, I just work out and feel my body because I need some more weight. I need some, I need some 15, 20 pounds. 15, yeah. And it's solid, too. <laughs> a little bit. Why? What was your thinking? I mean, you, you were kind of a skinnier guy. Blanco, Travis Snyder isn't here anymore, so you know what that tells you, right? Yeah, I mean... I mean, they want you to be the right fielder every day. How do you feel about yeah, that? I feel, I feel very good. I feel, feel happy, and you know, and I can I can play every day because everybody wants to play every day, so I want to play every day and do my best. Now, you're a guy who has never really had any kind of backward step in your career until last year when you came up and you struggled for a little bit. How did you handle that? Oh, I just... Then a, Dean Trainer was saying that when you went back to Indianapolis, he, Polanco wasn't very happy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, you know, like, everybody has... Everybody, anybody is perfect, so everybody has to play down, mm -hmm. up and down. So. But that was your first. Yeah, well, that happened, so I just had to prepare like I'm preparing to play this year. And, you know, like like I say, give my 100% and be prepared for everything. And you know you can do this, right? I mean, you came up in the majors and you hit like that. Yeah, you know, because I know that I had a talent, but I don't focus on that. I just had to be prepared, work hard every day. Like I've been doing work hard no matter what was the result, but well, I just had to keep working. The other corner outfielder looked like he was equally ready for the real action to begin Tony around Marte, here. Marte, have you seen Polanco? Yeah, I've been seeing him this morning. He's uh, big. Very big, more big than the off. <laughs> a couple guys, you know, but uh, he's pretty big. Now tell me about you, because you I mean you're obviously in great shape here, but you're not gonna add bulk, right? You're, you're gonna stay you know, skinny and fast, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, I lose a, lot, a little, a little bit, but um, I'm gonna take it quick. You know, I was doing, working hard in Dominica, taking more agility, working my leg, working my whole body, and I lose a little bit, but I make it strong quick. I tell you, the way you finished last season, your whole second half. Do you understand what the expectations are for you now? I mean, you hit like Albert Pujols in the second half. I mean, I, I was, I was taking a little early work before the game, before the practice. My ankle told me change a little bit to the spot, and you know, I was, I was amazing, amazing half season because everything was changing. My average was up and everything doing good. So. You grew up a little bit too. Be honest with me. I mean, yeah, but uh, you know. You did. <laughs> you you became a man. I mean, I do a great job to my head coach because for him was was I had amazing high season. Oh yeah, and since you asked, it's 58 degrees and sunny. They refer to that down here as a little bit nippy. 